So we've put a pause on our dirt work that you guys have seen us kind of working on since we've been back here at my parents. Um, it's been really windy, so it's not a lot of fun to be running the skid steer and stuff and dumping dirt. So put a pause on that. Um, Brooke and I this morning, we ran uh, to town, picked up a toolbox. Um, we decided it was probably better to move our tools out of the camper into the bed of the truck. That way we could have a little more space in our belly bay and our front storage um, for more fun stuff and really just get the tools out of there and have them in one place and it makes more sense to have the tools with the truck anyways. So we're going to get this installed today. Um, just a nice in the bed below the bed rail mount. It's going to sit all the way at the front there. Pick that up at big R. Um, so it will be much better than my yellow tote there. And then, um, We've also we finished up our roof rack there. So now we just got to find some bike mounts for it. So these are all ready to go. Um, did that this morning as well. But right now we're going to do the toolbox. Okay, now that we got the toolbox installed, um, we do cover up, there's a couple of rings on either side of the bed here um, that I used to tie stuff to. So since we are covering those up, I got these guys like that. We're gonna mount them down on the bottom of the toolbox down there so that we have a place to uh, tie to if we ever need to tie something down. So we're gonna do those real quick. Um, comes with some screws, I just gotta pre-drill the holes, so we're gonna pre-drill those. Slap them on there, should be pretty quick. Who this new girl? Look at her. She is smoking. Getting all kinds of upgrades. Woohoo! See, quarantine life isn't so bad, right? I haven't noticed a difference. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of storage in there. Ouch. What are you gonna put in it? Bodies. Not but very many. Just to say it's not that big. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> My tools. Move them out of the camper. Put them in here. So we got room in the camper for fun stuff. And because your wife was cheap and wouldn't let you buy a toolbox? For a while. That was my toolbox. And now you have this girl. And she let you buy a roof rack. I mean, she made you do the hard labor so we didn't spend extra money. I had to figure out a way to haul the bikes. We are going to be hot coming down the road. This is going to be awesome. How many bikes do you think I'd we like can put up there? Car. <laughs> like, how many bikes? What do you think? 27? I bet you at least do four, if not five. On there, because you can probably do one on the outside. Oh, that's true, too. And, and then three in, three in the middle. in the middle. But I don't know if the kids' bikes fit on the... I don't, I don't think so. Oh, they're too big. But we really just need the Honest. two, and then when Easton gets a new bike, his needs to go up there. Yeah. And why aren't we putting it on the back again? Because the mag chloride destroys them. Well, it wasn't just the mag. I mean, we went clear to everything. Texas. Yeah. It was everything. But... It's trashed. Yeah. Trash bike. Okay. We forgot to set up a time lapse when we were doing this. Brooke reminded me about halfway through we should have done one, but... But then it was too late. I'm so. just the assistant camera woman. I'm not the filmer. But we got it. I think we got just about every 
most of the tools in here. So I think we're pretty well set now. Pretty well. I think we could build a camper out of everything that's in the bed of the truck. Always be prepared. <laughs> I think it looks good. Check out my girl's new hairdo. She's looking good. Yeah. It's functional. I think it looks ridiculous. <laughs> well, it's been about, we've had the toolbox installed for about four months now. Um, it's going great. Love it. Um, I want to get some different organizers for it um, just to make it a little easier to access some stuff. Um, but I'm going to open it up here and show you what I got going on in there um, a little bit, just real brief. I'm not going to pull everything out, but I'll show you. Um, but yeah, it's worked great. Um, it sits nice below the bed rails there and lets the camper swing over the top of it. No issues. Plenty of room in between where the goose box mounts in there. Um, so yeah, no, no complaints with it at all. Love this style toolbox. I want to get a tonneau cover eventually to put over the top so that we can store stuff in there, whatever, when we're staying somewhere and it doesn't get wet. Or, you know, if we run to the grocery store and it's raining, we can throw it under there and not get wet. So maybe coming down the road, we'll get a tonneau cover and throw that on. But let me open this up real quick and we'll show you what we got. There it is, a little messy, but I mean, you can see, I, I keep it pretty well organized. Got several different toolboxes and bags and stuff to kind of store everything. Uh, but this is pretty much the majority of the tools. Uh, the only thing that I don't really store in here is my cordless drill set with saws all and stuff. I keep it. this is a big impact. I keep it in here with a battery um, to change tires. But yeah, that's pretty much all the tools that we carry with or travel with. And yeah, like the setup, like the toolbox. Everything seems to be working good for it so far. Well, that was a toolbox. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but it serves the purpose for us. Um, glad we got the tools out of the camper, into the truck, uh, opened up a lot more room in there for us. And yeah, we're, we're happy with the setup. Like I said, I'd like to get a few different organizers for the tools just to make it a little easier getting stuff in and out. Um, Cause I do have to kind of move several things right now to get to some stuff, but not the end of the world. Uh, if you guys got any questions on the toolbox or just full-time living or work camping or just want to say hey leave us a comment below or you can head on over to Instagram or Facebook or Twitter um, we're on there at the camper house um, we love ha hanging out and talking with people um, and oh yeah check out the blog it's thecamperhouse.com we don't update it as often but we do post um, some good information on there um, especially on how to do this lifestyle on a budget a lot of good info there so check it out thecamperhouse.com and we'll catch you guys on down the road